Hey everyone, Abby Widener here, and we are at Pomfret Hall. We are. in the bus stop. We are in the bus stop <laughs> here, because it's a little bit rainy today. It is a little bit rainy. So, we're going to start here on the bus stop. It's mm -hmm. covered. Uh, Pomfret Hall has three buses that will take you up to Union Station. So, the dreaded Eliminator. What's the Eliminator? The Eliminator is a massive hill just up over you there. see it out here? Okay, okay. I can see it, but I don't know if we can catch it too well. We'll see. But it goes up there, right? It goes up there, and that's kind of the dreaded factor about Pomfret. But there's three buses that will mm -hmm. take you right up to Union Station, and so then it's just a short walk from your classes. It works perfectly fine. And they run pretty often, too, like every, every 15, 15 minutes, minutes, I think. I think. Yeah. yeah. Starting so. at like 7 in the morning. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, you'll always have a bus to catch, and you'll always have a way to get to your classes so it's not too far it's not mm -hmm. as far as everyone thinks <laughs> <laughs> and I've heard that if you use the eliminator uh, properly you will have very nice cab yes. at the end you uh, a great will develop workout. yes it's not even stairs it's just a hill with a railing so it is it's quite a hike so <laughs> you'll have great legs by the end of your freshman year for sure and this is mostly a freshman residence hall that we're gonna visit it's about 80% yes. uh, sorry 90% uh, freshman um, it is kind of raining today here in Fayetteville, so bear with us with the, 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 the rain as it goes. And uh, yellow bus? Yeah, Alex will take the yellow bus. Um, let's uh, head on in, I guess, and take a look. Sounds good. So we're crossing the street over yep. into Palm Frit. Cars are stopping for us, that's a good thing. There's the Palm Frit sign, and there's the Palm Frit courtyard. And let's uh, just take a moment and talk about, well, let's get out of the rain here. We don't want to be too much in the rain. Mess up my hair. <laughs> so there's a couple of different entrances though, we will point out. There's this one, another one on that side, yep. Yep, and then another one on the other side of that building. Mm -hmm. and, then that side. and then of course, Razorback Stadium is over there. Bud Walton Arena is just your neighbor right over there. And then this is a courtyard area. There's also the hyper that's right next door too. So oh yeah. You can get so to the workout facility. In yeah. Like a two minute walk. So our, our freshmen probably don't know what the hyper is exactly. Yeah, it's our uh, it's the workout facility and gym. So mm -hmm. there's a pool. There's a big weightlifting room. There's classes. Um, what else? There's a rock wall in yeah. there. Yeah. You can all that stuff. All kinds of. Um, boats and things like that to take out onto like Beaver Lake or if you want to go on a float trip, there's sure. racquetball, there's all kinds of fun things you can do. And there's even a bicycle repair shop, I think? Yes, yeah. there is. So you just fobbed us in, um, and the fob, of course, is used to make sure that it's always secure, and you have to have a fob to get into the building. Yep. Uh, here we are. Welcome to the University of Arkansas, mm -hmm. right there. So uh, let's take a moment and talk about what we were seeing out there with the construction workers. Yes. So <laughs> what they're very noisily working on is replacing all of the windows in Pomfret. It's a 2.5 million construction job. And what that does is they're uh, an insulated window that will keep <laughs> heat in and keep cold in. So, and it also is noise canceling. So it's better for the heating and cooling and uh, better for noise cancellation. Sure, maybe finished. not necessarily inside the building, but outside the building? <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. um, so let me just um, tell everyone who's listening now, we've got 19 people who are watching. Um, if you have a question, feel free to ask it. We're happy to address those as they come in. Yes. And uh, yeah, we appreciate you tuning in, so we'll continue to go. This is the great room over here yep. that we're about to see. Now, keep in mind this is all under construction, so there's things happening. And uh, there's a ping pong table down there. Ping pong, and pool, shuffleboard, all kinds of fun things. You bet. Um, pool is really big too. And this uh, room really comes alive in the evening is what I've heard. So yes. during the day, people are kind of passing in and out for classes. Uh, uh, Christina, it will be done by uh, fall. So when students arrive, It'll we'll be, be done with the renovations. Yeah. And they have large scale programs in this room also including yeah. concerts, uh, vocal concerts, uh, parties, dancing. So it gets used quite a bit. It's really a nice facility. Yeah. There's some fun, yeah, fun programs they've got going on in the sure. fall especially. 
There's yeah. usually a little a, a luau that happens. The Palm Frit Luau. The Palm Frit luau. Traditional yes. sort of welcome to campus event. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, great. Let's see if there's anything else. So let's go ahead and what? You want to check out laundry? Yep. Okay, let's go take a look at the laundry. Head downstairs. All right. You're welcome, Kara. We're glad we can do it. And uh, if you have any questions, just pass them on. Sorry for the, all the sounds. We're in the middle of a construction area. So we're about to go look at the laundry. It's downstairs from right the front room there. Yep. So this is the laundry room. As you can see, there's lots of washers and dryers, and there's an ice machine, too. Um, so you can just walk straight down, do your mm -hmm. laundry. We do have, come in the fall, a system called Laundry Alert. And you just pull that up on your phone, and it can tell you which washers and dryers are full and taken, and then it can also email or text to notify you when your laundry is done. So it's a really cool <clears throat> feature that we're gonna have starting in the fall, so you don't have to sit down here and wait for your laundry to be done for hours. Right, so you could be in class good. and get a text about yeah, yeah. when you your laundry's done. Yeah, yeah, you sitting in class, it'll tell you when your laundry's done, and if you time it perfectly, you'll be able to come right back and take your laundry out. So it's a really nice way to not have to worry about your clothes. <laughs> and there's uh, no coin, you don't have to put in any money for any of these. These are all paid through student fees. So uh, there's no cost to using them. What was your experience? Where were you, Abby? During I was your... in Yoakum Hall my freshman Yoakum. year. Yoakum. Yes, and I wish I would have had laundry alert because I had multiple pairs of clothes stolen. Really? Oh, <laughs> yes. yikes. So be warned, but the laundry alert will be nice because It'll time it perfectly. The doors all lock, so people can't open them and take your stuff out. Mm -hmm. So when it's done, it'll text notify you, and then you can just come and take it out and be good. Nice, uh, Kim. We are in. We're in the central area right now. We are not going to be touring B because B is um, under renovation. And what we're going to do is we're going to tour C. And C and D are kind of mirrors of each other. So what we see in C, you would also see in D, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, we're going to tour most of the central area and then tour Building C. There are in all 800 students who live in Pomfret. It's our biggest hall. And all of the rooms look the same too. So if you're trying to plan for what to bring and mm -hmm. visuals, it'll be okay because all the rooms will be the same. Sure. And we are going to get some measurements for you. Here, let's go, right, let's look. We've got the pomfreteria. It's a cafeteria that's inside the residence hall for you, so you can have breakfast or lunch or dinner in your pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> Is that true though? Do people really come in their pajamas? Yes. Awesome. I've heard that, but I didn't know it was they completely do. true. Just wake up, roll out of bed, and walk right down to the pomfreteria. Sure. I've heard it's some pretty good food too. Yeah, well, the nice thing is you can just head outside and, uh, or just step outside your room and jump right in there. Yeah, it's really nice. Now, we'll mention for those who are listening, we are doing a uh, 2 p.m. July 19th tour just of dining. So we'll go a little, we'll dive a little deeper into the dining process here. Um, Tracy suggests about the renovations. Basically, we're doing $2.5 million in window change outs right now, and it's going to lead to better uh, heating and cooling, and it's gonna reduce the noises in the rooms. And what you can see, well, we'll see it here in a little bit when we take a tour as well. So we'll continue into, so if you don't wanna to go to the cafeteria, you can always go, right? Yeah, right in here we've got a full kitchen that is free for students to use. It's got everything you need. So cabinet space, stove, oven, microwave, sink, refrigerator, everything so if you don't feel like going to eat residence hall food you is that a keurig that yeah. is a keurig cool you're more than welcome to come down here and cook away yeah did you do a lot of cooking for yourself or did you eat in the halls or what I did, you did it because i love to cook mm -hmm. but the yokum hall kitchen caught on fire my freshman year okay so a lot of it was not in use gotcha so, but once they renovated it after the fire it was really nice to use so i just suggest bringing maybe one pot and one like cookie sheet or something so huh. you can make like mac and cheese or you can make cookies or whatever it may be just because there's not a whole lot of options usually for clean 
um, bakeware. So right, right. Maybe just one. I kept one pot and a spoon in my room, and, and that was enough. Yeah. You were able to make it with that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, you're right. You will not have to uh, microwave uh, the ramen on the weekends. You will have access to a full <laughs> kitchen here as you need. Yes. Um, Kenitra, I don't know if we have to, if you have to reserve the kitchen or not. I'm thinking not, but let me make sure that I get a good answer for you on that. Yeah. Um, what's the best dish for a college student? You know, I was just going to mention that if you guys actually go follow us on Pinterest, uh -huh. we do have a board that I've been working on for a while called Foodies. That's right, because you're doing our social and, media. Yes, yeah. and it's all kinds of hacks and tricks that you can use to make um, food in your hall. And some of them even include like revamped ramen, so you can add in things and a lot of it is just with a microwave and then you've also got access to a really nice kitchen if you want to make it a little bit better. So. There's lots of fun stuff. I've been working really hard to see <clears throat> like fun recipes that you can make right there in your dorm room. What's the best one? Uh, I think my favorite that I yes. did was making favorite? a grilled cheese with a hand iron. Really? <laughs> yes. Whoa, I've heard about that, but yeah, apparently it does happen. It, it worked. It was awesome. Okay. It was delicious. So. Well, let's go take a look at the mail system here in Palm Frit. As you can see, all this is pretty centrally located. Uh, we walked in and we went to the dining hall and then the kitchen. And here's the mail system. And as I said, there are 800 students here, so we have a lot of uh, mail. Yep, and a couple of vending machines. And some vending machines as well, if need be. So you'll just come in and you'll get a code, and you'll just twist the code and tell the current story. They'll mm -hmm. come into the, most likely, depending um, on the day and things like that, your packages will probably come into the front desk. Right. You'll get an email notification, like you have a package waiting for you at the front desk. Let's go look at the front desk. Okay. <laughs> as long as we're passing through here, all of this. Any questions from anyone? Okay. Here we are at the front desk. Yep. And uh, Philip, you here? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. We just uh, hey. So Phil's working the front desk for us today. We appreciate that very much. Yes. And sorry. no, no, it's all good. <laughs> um, and of course, here, if you want to, you can get the paddles for ping pong, ping pong the balls for billiards, for yeah, pool. Yeah. yeah. Um, so and just, you can rent all kinds of things here for games. They have even some movies, I believe. They yeah. have got lots of options. Got movies, and all you need is just your student ID, and you can get everything for free. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. This is also where your packages will come. So. Right, right. Hey, thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, Christina, still wondering about the similarity of B to C and D. The so, rooms or the wing itself? Because the rooms will be identical. Mm -hmm. uh, the wing, they're all just a little bit different. The wings themselves, like hallways and things like that. But, right. Well, C and D are, yeah. Pretty much mirror images of each other. They're both three floors, right? They're both three floors. Uh, D, D wing has four floors. D is four, okay. and then D okay. is eight. So. Uh, yes, Kara, we're going up to a room right now. Um, so let's. Uh, this is kind of a study nook area that one can check out. Um, I think this was all put in here by Walmart. Is that right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's some nice little, and there's a big TV there for the lounge type area if you want that. Great. And uh, let's go ahead and head up to um, Kim. I believe there's one central. That's why it's so big. Is there's one central area uh, for all the laundry? But I'm happy to check that. Um, there's a laundry on B wing. Oh, there, okay. There's also a laundry on B wing. Kim, thanks for the question. What did we just saw was for C and D wings. Okay. Yeah. As Kim was telling me. Uh, Kent was uh, what we saw was just for C and D wings. So let's go ahead and head up to the second floor. Does it say welcome to Fayetteville on, behind you? Yep. Welcome to Fayetteville. So let's um, head up to the second floor and look at uh, the facilities themselves. Sounds and good. you've got the tape measure? Great, thank you. Okay. I think we headed up that way last time. This way? Yeah. I don't know where I am. No, it's, <laughs> it's a big building. It's easy to, you know, get a little. Turned around. Speaking of which, what do you, not turned around, but what do you, what do you study? I am 
studying advertising and public relations and a minor in communications. Okay, okay. So that would be in the Journalism. arts and sciences yes, school? Fulbright. Mm -hmm. Fulbright school? Yes. And you will be a senior this year, right? Right. Cool. So we're going up to the second floor of the, this is C, right? Yes. yes. Second floor of the C wing. And we'll go up here. We're going to take a look at a trash chute because that's kind of an interesting thing that we do here. Yep. So all of your trash you're able to dump down just right mm -hmm. in there in the trash chute. Yep. They just recommend don't putting cardboard boxes and things like that down there, just trash. Sure. But you don't even have to go down to the first floor. You just put it in there and it slides down yep. to the bottom. And each floor has one. So it's really nice. You don't have to hike all the way down to uh, the whole garbage room. <laughs> right, exactly. It's kind of stinky. Uh, Christina, we'll try to get you the answer to that question. How large is the laundry room for B-Wing? Okay, so let's head down and let's look at the bathroom. This is actually a female floor. Some of the floors in Palm Frit are male floors, others are female floors, but they're all just, you know, one gender per floor. Yes. So let's head into the female bathroom. No one's in there, that's good. Courtesy knock. <laughs> yeah, so this is the bathroom. There's one on each side of the hallway, and mm -hmm. each one has two showers. You go in there a little bit. So there's a shower on that side. And then down here, we got that. Another shower on that side. And so there's four showers on each floor, yes. is that right? And it doesn't sound like a lot. It was the same in Yoko. Mm -hmm. No one's ever really fighting for the shower. Everyone has such different schedules of when they like to shower. So you'll most likely all the time have a shower open for you to use. So sure. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it's plenty. And then we have our sinks here, mm -hmm. which are available. We have one, two, three, four. And of course, there's two bathrooms on each floor. So everything you see here is double on the floor. There's two stalls. Two stalls, yeah. And uh, let's see if there's anything in there. We, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no Everybody knows. Everybody knows what's in there. Okay. So. Yeah, check out a room. Yeah, let's look at that study nook yeah. on this floor, and then check out a room, okay. and then we'll be done. Any uh, any other uh, questions? Oh, yeah. The um, the floor the floors are typically one gender or the other. Yes, it kind of um, has my floor. It's like boy, girl, boy, girl. Mm -hmm. But uh, you may live in, you know, B is a co co ed uh, wing, for example. But the floors are gender specific. Yeah. So here's a little study nook. Yeah. They've got this at the end of. Is it every floor? Or is it just two that has it? Um, it has. C and D wing have these. C and D wing have these little study areas, which are kind of nice. You can sit right there. And I think we can see, yeah, we can see some of our gentlemen out there um, who are working on the windows diligently, as a matter of fact. Uh, Janelle, wondering if the corner rooms have a different layout than the other rooms. They do not. They're the same. Mm-hmm. They all have kind of the same configuration. It's actually we're a corner room. We're yeah, down. we're about to go into a corner room, as a matter of fact. You know, at the far end of the building, there are rooms that are called end rooms, mm -hmm. which have a different configuration, but we've shown those floor plans on our website. Okay, so there are... The same square footage, but they're laid out differently. Okay, end rooms have a slightly different configuration. We've got the floor plan on the website. Um, how many of those end rooms are there? Uh, I think one per floor. One per floor. The floor. Could we... Look oh yeah, I, that's the one that's right back there yeah. at the very end. Okay. Because yeah, for my Yo. eyes, it didn't look any different at all. Yeah, we can take a look at the end room. Let, you want to do the end? Um, let's do the end room last. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is sort of a typical room here. Uh, Kim asks, do students bring their own printers? Yes. Yeah. I suggest it. You don't really need it, but I am a little bit more lazy and I didn't want to walk to the library. And I also was this terrified freshman and I didn't know how to work the printers there. Um, which they're actually really easy so but I did end up bringing my own printer and I just kept it under my bed and so it's just a matter of if you want to pay for the ink you do get at the library you get I think fifty dollars worth mm -hmm. of printing credit and so it's not necessarily like necessary to have a printer but um, if you're like me then yeah <laughs> and you can print remotely like you could be at your laptop in your room do a printout and you can go pick it up I believe I haven't 
Yeah, am I lying? Am I lying? I don't know. I, 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 I've heard that, but maybe that's not, maybe they haven't implemented that, that yet. That would be awesome if you can do that. But the printing is super easy at the library. You just click print, type in your information, and click print again. So sure. Kim follows up with, do they need to be wired, or can you bring wireless? I had a wireless. Uh huh. So it's just, a, you'll get... I don't know, is this one of the residence halls you have to bring your own router, or do you No, no, uh, no residence halls anymore do you need to bring your okay. own router. Okay, then you'll just hook it up to the Wi-Fi and you'll mm -hmm. just do a wireless print. So you probably will have to register it on ResNet, mm -hmm. but we do have another session that's coming up a little later that's prep your tech, and we're happy to address those kind of issues then. Yeah. Uh, we'll have experts in the room who can answer all of your wireless questions about that stuff. So let's take a look at this room. Uh, let's start with, I guess, the beds. Yep. Uh, does anybody have any questions about measurements? We did bring a tape measure. <laughs> You've got it in your hands? Yep. Show us the tape measure. Right on. Okay. We're ready. You're welcome, Kim. No problem. Um, yeah. Okay. So just in case, uh, we'll go ahead and read some of the, do you have some of the dimensions in your, in your cheat sheet there? So there are two... Twin beds. Uh, are these ones not extra long? These are uh, regular twin, 76 inches. So okay, inches. so it's 78, 36, 25 okay. beds here. So they're not the extra long ones. And there's also the two desks. Got some questions coming in. Um, Kara asks, well, let me first address Bridget's question. At orientation, they requested wired printer only so it doesn't interfere with Wi Fi. Um, you know, let me check on it to make sure, but I think we're okay on that. Yeah, uh, I think they say that just so everybody doesn't do it. Most people end up using the library anyway. Mm -hmm. So if you want a college girl's advice, I'd bring your own printer, but <laughs> don't take my word for it. And Kara asks, twin, Excel, or regular? regular. And it sounds like it's a regular, which it's, is what, the 74, 75? It's 78. 70, it's actually, it's 75. Seven, oh, okay. 75 inches. We do have um, a long mattress form, but I believe that's done at this point, and that's mm -hmm. for an 80. Uh, you know, next year, if you're coming and you need an 80, then uh, you can you can fill out that form. Uh, she asks about risers, which I'm assuming we were talking about yeah. lofting. We will get into that in just one second. Um, Kenitra asks, before you leave the room, can we get a full room view from the door? Absolutely. Kim asks, distance from top of bookcase and ceiling? We can certainly get that, although I don't know if there's a lot of distance between them. No, oh, they're right there. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and take that measurement for, okay. if we can. Twenty-four inches. Twenty-four inches, Kim, from the uh, top of the bookcase to the ceiling. Now this is all fixed furniture. It can't be moved, but you know it's got a classic look to it. And uh, let's see. Real quick, back yeah. to uh, the mattresses. I am five, like seven and a half, or something like that, and I fit on them fine. Mm -hmm. It's so I don't know. I don't. You don't have to be worried about it not being an extra long. It'll be okay. Um, Bridget, you do not need to bring your own desk chair. The residence hall comes with these chairs. These are the converting chairs. No. 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 Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you can, certainly you can bring your own chair if you wish, but you it's not. You just can't move the furniture out of the room. Mm -hmm. So if you bring your own chair, you'll have a chair stuck in your room still just kind of hanging out. I gotcha. Um, let me turn around here. Now we've looked at kind of the desk. Why don't you open one of those drawers just so they can get a sense of it. Yeah. And then you got ethernet there and power cord. It kind of just divides right yeah. there in half. Sure. Um, and so we've got the other bed on this side of the room. Should we explain lofting it? Sure, let's get into that. So the way it works, you'll most likely have to, yeah, see, you'll have to, if you want it lofted as a bunk, you'll have mm -hmm. to request the other two um, bed frame posts and they'll help you loft it up all the way. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know if you can see on the video there, you see. Yeah, let's come in a little bit, these notches. grooves, yeah. So this can, it can stay here, it can go all the way down, or you can even bring it like right up to the top here, mm -hmm. uh, which is what I did. And then if you do that, you bring it up to the top and you can fit a mini fridge under there, you can fit a microwave under there, or all your other storage. I brought all my fall, summer, and winter clothes with me freshman year, and so all that fit under there. <laughs> so you can pretty much put it at any height you want it. We had two questions come in. Uh -huh. uh, Kim asks, do you recommend mattress toppers? Yes. Like a memory foam. 110% yes. Okay, okay, <laughs> that was a big. I brought two with me in 
so worth it. These mattresses, I mean, not to diss on them or anything, <laughs> but they're not good. So I highly suggest bringing, if not a foam topper, I mean, they can get expensive. But Egg crate topper something. is another one. Yeah. Yep, potentially. So. Um, Wit, Wit asks, how tall will the bed loft? Um, and I think what we noticed before was 36 was a common. Yeah, from here it will be, yes, 36. 36. I don't know, I mean, I guess just double that, and that's how tall it would be if you loft it all the way as a bunk. Mm -hmm. Which can be fun, because I've seen a lot of people hang hammocks then from underneath their bed, so. How does it work when you loft it, um, when you get to get double this right here? Um, usually, so this one looks like it's the top, but there's mm -hmm. a hole right there, uh -huh. and the other one has um, a post coming out from the bottom of it, and it just they just fit on top right of each in. other. Yeah. yeah. So, and you can have someone do that for you. You don't mm -hmm. have to do it yourself. They're heavy and they're annoying and they're a pain in the butt. So, you can definitely have the staff here. They'll do it for you. Sometimes they even suggest that so you don't break it. Yeah, we we do encourage if you're gonna go in that direction to try to make a request. Mm -hmm. So let me uh, continue to look at the closet and then this sort of bureau, I guess, area. Yeah. So we've got... There's the closet. you got some space up there. It's a lot of space up there. Uh -huh. And then you've got... Um, and then you've got the, the, the rod right there that you can use. Mm -hmm. um, did you use all your closet space your freshman yes, year? Yes, I did. Because I brought all four seasons worth of clothes. So <laughs> I crammed it all in there. And then we used this as our coffee station. So mm -hmm. we had like two coffee makers and we also had like all of our makeup on there too. So gotcha. jam packed everything full of clothes. It was madness. We had two more questions come in. Okay. Uh, Christina asks about making the bed before or after you loft. And I guess you would want to make it after. after. Definitely after. Because these, the metal part right here, is you have to unlatch it. Like you'll even have to take the mattress off to do mm -hmm. it because you have to unlatch it and get each one in every single post for it to be um, even and locked in. Otherwise, it'll just fall right out of it if it's not locked in correctly. So definitely make your bed after it's lofted, however mm -hmm. you like it. Sure. And then <clears throat> uh, Bridget asked about the width of the closet. Okay. Good so we can give question. her the width of the closet. I wish I would have known that. <laughs> It is, let's go from the inside. Okay. 46 and a half inches. So Bridget, 46 and a half inches is the width of that closet. Mm -hmm. um, Just a regular tension rod is gonna be fine if you're asking for that. Mm -hmm. if you, do you, does anybody know how tall it is for curtains? I mean, let's Sure, let's go ahead and give it to him. Um, it didn't hurt. We might have it already on the, sh on the cheat sheet. Probably. Um, And we've got a couple other questions that have come in too as we're doing that. One that Tracy and Witt ask is, how do you request uh, the loft if you want to do it before arrival? I'm not 100% on that process, but I'm going to post it here at the bottom, um, a link to it or the information about it uh, so that you can do that. And then Marlette asks, what are the rules about hanging things in the room? What is allowed command hooks, etc.? Yes. Um, Man hooks only. Uh, mm -hmm. It's cinder block anyway. Nothing's gonna be drilling into that. So <laughs> I think there's a type of um, sticky that you're allowed to use too. Kent, do you know about the sticky that you're allowed to use? I think it's all the same. Like I don't, hook I don't know the brand name, but it's um, um, it's the kind that when you take the hook off, you you just peel the backing yeah, off, it's, right? And it doesn't take the paint off. Yeah. A, a command. And they could buy a command hook. Okay. Yeah. But there's also the like Target and Walmart brands of that mm -hmm. too, which is what I use. Okay. Cheap, but... Did you get the uh, measurement on the... Uh... Yeah, it's 88 inches in height. Okay. So. Here it says 96. I'm wondering if... You're talking about... I just... That's I the, the ceiling. I went uh, from okay. right in here okay. just to the top of this. So okay. And what was that again? 88. 88. So okay. if you're looking for a curtain, that's what the... Length is there. Gotcha. Right. And then also a question has been, what is the distance between these two right here? Sixty-three. Sixty-three inches. 
uh, between the two closets. Um, can you try, the closets do not have doors. You could always hang something there and put something if you wish. But yeah, they do not. most people, that's what I was kind of measuring for. Most mm -hmm. people bring a tension rod and a curtain to hang up there. Right. And then Bridget asked the number of outlets. I guess we have, what, two right there? Is that right? Each side gets one there. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Usually there has to be one on each wall, doesn't there? Yeah, I think these are the only ones. Okay. If they bring on um, a strip to increase the number of outlets, it just has to be um, with a circuit breaker and you will approve it. Okay. Um, so it looks like uh, you have, what, six? Is that right? Six. Uh, one behind you right there, too. So eight, at least eight different outlets. Um, where do we put the TV? Uh, ask Christina. I guess we should put the TV. A lot of people put it up here. Right there. I had a really small TV, so I put mine right up there. Okay. Because um, this is the same layout as Yoakum. But some people put it up there. Just depends on what size you have, but if you're bringing a pretty hefty size, most people put it right there in front mm -hmm. of the mirror. Uh, we're almost caught up on questions. There's one last one. We love all these questions, by the way. It's glad, I'm glad we can answer them for you. Uh, Janelle asks, what size area rug would be best? And I guess, you know, if we're I looking at, I'll step into the closet here. You can step into the closet. Oh, that's interesting. So if I step in there, we're talking about that space right there. Um, the I brought a five by seven rug. Five by seven worked fine? Yes, it was perfect. Okay. Covered it well, and my feet weren't cold in the morning, so. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, well, great. Well, um, there was a request to see as much as we could from the door, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that uh, image, and then we're gonna run over. Where do they hang wet towels, I guess? Behind the door. Behind the door? That would be a perfect place to hang the wet towels. Okay, so let me go ahead and get an image of this from the outside to give as much of it as I can. I'm gonna do a quick pan here. So there's one of the one of them right there. I'm going across. Yes, and then we've got our closet right there. And then our area here. Great. Can you, uh, Tracy asks, can you measure space between shelves? Wondering how big bins will fit. How big For a bins will fit? Between the shelves, or? yeah. Um, okay, I see what she's saying. The, the shelving right there, so. So from the top one, we've got, let's see, 16 and a half inches. 16 and a half inches. And then, this one we've got nine and a quarter inches. Nine and a quarter inches, okay. Uh, we've got a couple other measurements that came in. Okay. Uh, Kara asks, is that a bulletin board at the head of a bed? Yes. It is, that is a bulletin board for you to put anything you want on. And Wit asks, how deep is the window, uh, the window seal? So if you so, want to use that space. Like from here? I think so. It's 13 and a half inches. 13 and a half inches right there. How about the rooms in uh, D-Wing that are facing C-Wing? Do they receive a lot of sun? Especially the first one? Okay. Um, I can check on that. I'm not entirely sure right offhand, but I will follow up on that. They all have pretty big windows, so mm -hmm. no matter what, you'll get a good amount of light. Yeah, they should all receive a good bit of light. Um, yeah, let's see if there's anything else. Wait, let's go look at the uh, the other type of room, and then we're and then we're out. Thanks for all those great questions, everyone. We're glad we can answer them for you. Is it this? Um, I keep going it's at the end of the hall. Mm -hmm. okay. so actually, there are two bathrooms on each side of are the there, floor. Is, mm -hmm. I couldn't find, we couldn't, maybe they just don't have them labeled right now, because I couldn't mm -hmm. see. Right, there's one further down also, so there'd be four per floor. Okay. Four, yeah, so four showers and four stalls per floor then. Sure. And uh, Christina, yes, you can put curtains up. I want to measure in between the windows then because they'll need a tension rod. Oh, okay. So we'll look at that to give you a measurement for a tension rod. So we're walking down the hallway. This is, um, it's all built like a rectangle. So we're kind of walking down one side of the Basically rectangle. like a hotel. Yeah, like a hotel layout. This one, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
great. So this is another, this is the one room at the end. It's basically the same. Yeah, it looks like it's mainly just the windows that are different. Right here. So you've got that central area there. And then that, the bed, of course, and the desks areas. Yeah. Can you, Tracy wants us to measure for a tension rod and curtain length. So we might need to go back to the other room to do that because I don't know. If this we is can just go turn the wind around over here too. Oh yeah. We can go. <clears throat> Okay. This, the windows are different. Windows are slightly different here. So let's get the one that's the most of them. So we'll just step in. Luckily, all these all these halls are open right now because they're not being used. All these rooms are being, not being used. All right. I think we can get that measurement. We've got 113 inches. 113 inches. How many feet is that? Um, 12 divided by 113. I'm not good at math. Noah, yes, that room we were just in a second ago was the room at the end of the building. And so the windows are slightly different. That's the configuration. Yeah. Thanks, Kent, for turning the light. Um, so that's the size for windows. These, these windows, we always encourage a plus or minus factors. So you probably want to go much or a little bit larger than 113 inches because they might vary plus or minus two or three inches at the most. But just to make sure. Tracy had also asked for the length of a curtain. So can we get a top to bottom there? Well, yeah, just from here to the. Well, it was 61 inches if you want it to just hang there. But should we do it if they want it all? The way to the floor? Um, I think they're, so. they're going to use that lip, yeah, probably. I, so. I would. Um, yeah. There you go, Tracy. Uh, did you hear that? 61, right? 61? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great, everyone. Well, thanks again for all your questions. I think we've uh, had a fun tour of Palm Fritz, and uh, we hope that uh, you'll join us and, 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 and for some of the other tours, like the dining tour that's coming up and the preparing your technology tour. Um, and uh, sign us out here. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good day.